This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing some nails for my maternity shoot. It's in the morning and I've waited to the last minute like I always do, so I need to do something very quick for these nails. So the nails on my right hand are the nails that I did in my last video and they are just these cute Christmas inspired peppermint swirl nails. So if you didn't check this out, I will leave the link to the video down below. All right, so this is the dress that I'm gonna wear for my maternity photo shoot and I just love the colors. I just love this dress. It is so, so, so pretty. I'll leave the link down below to where I got it. At first I wanted to wear my strawberry dress, but it does not accommodate my pregnant belly. So I'll have to take pictures in this after the baby is born. All right, so let's get to these nails. So the first thing I do is do my prep and I'm gonna push back my cuticles and then use the opposite end of the cuticle pusher to scrape up any of that dead skin. Taking my Kiara Sky nail drill and cuticle clean bit, I'm just gonna work this around the cuticle area. And I do this for all of the nails. So I will be doing another giveaway and it's gonna be for the blue Kiara Sky nail lamp and nail drill. So make sure you follow me on Instagram so you know all the details of when it starts and all the rules to enter. And yes, it's gonna be on Instagram. Like I always state, there is no way for me to contact people on YouTube. There is no messaging system. So yes, this is a Instagram giveaway. So after all of the prep, I'm just gonna go in with the 180 side of my hand file and just take away the shine from my nails and also trim down the free edge. So after all of the nail prep, I'm going to be using these Apre Gel X base color tips. I used these in a previous video before and they're pretty cool. And I just went for these because they already have color to them so I don't have to do any gel polish or anything like that. Like I said, I'm in a hurry so I just want something that I can do very, very quickly. So they come with, I believe, five colors. So we have, you know, various pinks and nudes and stuff like that. So I'm just deciding what color I want. I decided to go ahead with this nude color. It is coming up more tannish brown on camera, but it, it does have like a hint of pink and it matches the base color of my dress. It's like a blush pink, so it kind of goes with that. So I am gonna use the Apre system, their Bonder Primer and Extend Gel. And these are my tips after picking out all of my sizes. And what I like about the Apre tips is that it has the number inside where you will be doing your filing and stuff. So you're gonna file that off. First is most tips have the number, the size of the tip on the very tip and you get to see that underneath, but you can file it either way. But anyway, I like it how it's like this where I'm just gonna file this off anyway. So the first thing I do is just match up the tip to make sure that it fits. This one hangs over slightly over my cuticle, so I'm just gonna take my hand file and custom shape that to the shape of my cuticle area. And I like how that fits. Now taking my e-file and this nail drill, I'm just gonna etch the inside of the nail where it's gonna meet my natural nail and that is just for the gel to have something to attach to. So after doing that with all of the tips, I'm just gonna brush off the excess dust. And for the application, I'm gonna use the Kiara Sky Flash Cure LED Lamp. This one is perfect for doing this application on yourself because you're able to really hold the tip and cure at the same time. So first I'm gonna go in with the pH bonder, which is a dehydrator. And then I'm going in with the primer. And then next I'm going in with a coat of the Extend Gel. And I'm just gonna do a nice even layer of that. Making sure to clean up around the cuticle area. And then I cure that for 60 seconds. 
Next, I'm gonna put some Extend Gel inside of the tip. And it's always a guessing game on how much to put, but you know, just do it. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go ahead and press that down on my nail, making sure to clean up any of the spillage around the cuticle area. And then I hold the nail down and then cure it under the nail lamp. And as you guys can see, I love this lamp because I'm able to hold the nail together and cure at the same time instead of having to do all that crazy stuff that people have been telling me to use a flashlight in my mouth and all that and I'm just like no nope. <laughs> but yeah after about 10 seconds you want to move your finger out the way so the gel can cure fully and you want to cure for 60 seconds and I repeat that for all of the nails So that was quick. I have all the nails on and this is what it's looking like so far. I do have some air bubbles that I, you know, I just, ugh. it takes practice to put these on with no air bubbles. So sometimes I get them and sometimes I don't. So it kind of just takes practice. It comes down to just knowing how much gel to put inside of the tip. So anyway, I'm just gonna take my e-file and my smooth top drill bit from Kiara Sky and work this around the cuticle area to really make sure that looks nice and flush. And then I'm taking the 180 side of my hand file and just cleaning up the shape where I see fit. And then I'm also taking the shine away from the nail tip because I'll be doing some gel top coat and we want that to stick. And then finally, I just use my buffing block to buff out any of the scratches from the nail drill and nail file. So this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. And I'm just gonna place some bling, some crystals. I like to kind of um, have a guide of what I'm gonna do first. So I kind of lay them out to see how I wanna place them. And then of course, I'm gonna use my Poochie's Nails Super Shine Gel Top Coat and Bling Gel. And first I apply the Bling Gel to the whole nail. And then without curing, I go over that with the top coat. And then I'm just gonna place my crystals into the wet gel. And I wanted to add just a little more pizzazz. So I'm going in with some caviar beads and just kind of putting those in between each crystal. It kind of gives it a nice jewelry look. It looks like prongs. It just elevates it. So <laughs> that's what I did, placing those one by one. And once I liked the placement, I went ahead and cured that in my nail lamp for 60 seconds. And this is after putting all of the crystals on. And I love how this turned out. So I'm just applying my cuticle oil. And this set was very quick and fast to do. Like I said, I was doing this the night before my maternity photo shoot, so I had to hurry up and do something quick. And I love how this came out, even though it was kind of, it's kind of simple, but it's bling at the same time and it matches my dress, so. So, so pretty. I like these full cover gel tips for when you're in a pinch and you just need some quick nails. They really come in clutch. I was able to apply these full cover gel tips in no time. It probably took me about maybe five, six minutes to put them all on. It took me longer to put the crystals on than it did to actually like put the nails on. So I really, really like how quick and easy it was. And this is just some behind the scenes footage of hubby doing my photo shoot. Y'all know he is a professional with all the film equipment. So I was able to do my maternity photo shoot inside my house. I didn't have to deal with no strangers or anything like that. You know, we gotta be safe. But yes, I love how everything turned out. These pictures turned out so well, and I just love this dress. Like, I felt like a princess. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Ooh. 
<laughs> He's so professional. <laughs> Heavy camera. You out of shape. Bank roll, where you at? Hey, it's been a while. <laughs> Whoop there. <laughs> That's how we gonna end it. <laughs> this is the outro to the long hair pretty nail show. Yeah.